In this video, I want to do a quick wrap up of this application and talk about some of the differences between interfaces and abstract classes. Because at this point, you might be thinking, hey, wait, I thought this was all about interfaces. Why are we using this thing right here? So just to be clear, we don't actually need the interface anymore. This is not being used anywhere inside of our project. So if you wanted to, yep, we could totally delete it. Let's do a quick compare and contrast, however, of interfaces versus abstract classes. Okay, so here we go. First off, an interface allows us to easily set up a contract between different classes. Remember, this is when we originally had the sorter. We said, hey, if anything inside of our application wanted to be sorted, all it had to do was implement our sortable interface. And so that allowed us to get different classes to work together without a direct dependency between them. And so interfaces generally promote very loose coupling. In general, I recommend you try looking for interfaces anytime that we have different objects that want to work together. Now, in the example of like our last application with that Google map and a user and a company, a user and a company were very different from a map. Those were very dissimilar objects. And so anytime we are working with very dissimilar objects or objects with very different purposes, that is a very good time to reach for an interface. However, in this application we just worked on, we had an example where we were trying to really build up a definition of an object using some very similar classes. So we were defining like a character collection and a number collection, and they were trying to work with a sorter. A sorter class it probably has a lot to do with a collection of data, like a collection of numbers or strings or whatever. And so because a sorter was very closely related to the numbers collection or very closely related to the characters collection, well, that was probably a better scenario to start thinking about inheritance and abstract classes. With an abstract class, it makes it really easy for us to set up a contract between different classes as well, but this is way more about inheritance and trying to make use of some methods from a parent class on a child one. The downside to this is that it really strongly couples different classes together. So at this point, our let me flip back over to it. Sorter right here has like 100% dependency upon characters collection and numbers and linked list. Those, these child classes right here can't function correctly without the sorter. And likewise, the sorter by itself is pointless without those child classes. However, what we had before with the interface-based approach, all those classes could really live separately and they would still be able to like function appropriately. Of course, our numbers collection and whatnot would not be able to sort themselves, of course, but at the end of the day, we could definitely use each of those classes by themselves. So in general, we always want to first reach for interfaces as a solution to code reuse, unless we are in a scenario where we have some different objects that are very closely related. And in that case, it might make a little bit more sense to start thinking about inheritance and abstract classes. Okay, so that's it for this application. Now we still have a lot more to learn, so let's take a quick pause right here and continue in the next video.